Hello friends, welcome to me in this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the events in React, how to handle the events. So events, for example, you will have the on click event. So when, when, so when we have a button and then when somebody click on, click on that button, we have to handle the on click event. And for, for uh, as in another example, if you have a text field and if somebody enters something on the text field, we have to handle the on change event. So these kind of events, right? So how to handle those uh, events uh, in React, uh, we will see how we can uh, handle those events in a functional component as well as on a class component. Okay, so let's get started. I have a, a very simple application running in my local. Uh, it just has one single label. It says inside app.js. I have it running in my local. Uh, it says inside app.js. Okay, there is nothing inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a component here. Uh, events uh tutorial that's what i'm calling it as i'm creating a, a component events tutorial okay i'm creating as a functional component uh sorry const events tutorial i'm creating a bunch functional component here and then i'm just returning it saying do inside events tutorial component okay so I just created this component. I'm importing the component here. Import from it is inside my components folder and this one. And I'm calling this inside of here. Okay. So I'm just I just created a simple component which says uh, uh, this one label inside of even inside events tutorial component, and then I'm calling this component that component from my app.js. So if I run this here. Uh, attempt at import okay I think I missed to put the export yeah export default events tutorial now if I run this it says inside events tutorial component okay. so so let's uh, write some events here so first what I'll do is I'll create a button here it says click me okay now, if you want to listen to some events, which is if, if somebody clicks on that uh, button, I want to get some events or I want to invoke a function, right? How we can handle it. So I'll write an on click event here. Basically, uh, before that, let me let me write a function here. Function. Uh, update. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me put a, let me create a, a state here. Const, let me put a name, name, set name equal to use state of John. I'm creating a, a, a state here, a name, and then I'm just simply showing the name here, okay? So if I do it, uh, let me okay let me remove this we will we'll come to it so what I did was I created a, a state a name and I'm just displaying that name here okay so I can see the John then I have a button click me okay so this name is nothing but this John okay so next what I'll do is let's say if I want to update this name uh, to something else on click of this button right so to do that I want to listen to the events of click event from this button okay I'm defining a function here update name so whenever somebody click on this button I should I should call a function update name okay so I'm defining a function here update name okay next what I'll do is I can inside when somebody calls it I'm just let's say I'm changing it to mark that's all I have to do so you just call this function here and then you define the function and this is my set setter method for that name then I, I i set it as set name mark okay now what will i do is i have the john which is the initial state and i have the click me button when i click on this button it is updated to mark okay all good so this is how you handle the on click event here so I have, I have not put the parenthesis here because it's the moment I put the parenthesis, it will become a function call. Okay, it, it it won't wait for the button to click. It will become a function call. So 
don't put the uh, the parenthesis here it's just the function name is required so next is let's say if I, rather than just hard coding here i want to pass a name from on the button click on the from here itself and then capture that uh, as a parameter in this function and then set that as a name so how we can do that right how we can do that is the syntax is you call this function like this then you can pass the name like this i'm creating it as mark and then set name i'm capturing it is let's say capturing it as a new name then i'm setting it as a new name here so what happens is when i click on this button uh, this will call the update update name uh, function with the parameter mark which will be captured here as a new name and then i'm setting that new name as in as my new name here okay so what happens is if i refresh it the default state is john when i click on it it changes to mark okay so this is how we pass a value as a parameter to a function okay so this is how you handle an on click event so let's see how we can handle a, a on change event. So let's see if you have a, an input here, input type equal to text. Okay. So I have a text field here. Okay. So my requirement is let's say if I, the moment I type in something, I want to set this, I want to capture this and set this to my name, name here. Okay. Let's see how we can do that. So what I want to do is I want to there is an event called on change event. Okay. I'm defining a function here, name changed. Okay. So I'm defining this event on change event here. I'm defining a function here, name changed. Okay. Let me create a function here. Function name changed. There is something called the event which will be passed by default to this function. Okay. So to get this to get the value of the text which is entered right well, how we can do is there is event it has a property called the target then it has a property called the value if you put it like this you will get what has been entered by the user okay so how we can do it is i'm just setting it a set name of event of target dot value okay so if i do this what happens is every time when i enter something in the text field it will invoke this function it will get the the whatever the user is entered and then set that as a set name which is our state okay so let's see how it works let me refresh this uh, oh this target dot value is not a function Sorry. yeah that is correct so if I put this Whatever I'm typing in here, it will be updated. Uh, it will be set as my state. Let's say if I set it as mark, it will be updated here. The state will be updated. Uh, whatever I am entering in my text field, marks. Yep. So this is how we can handle a on change event. Okay. So just to brief out what we have described um, uh, discussed in this tutorial is uh, first we discussed about the on click event on click event basically uh, how we can just call a function on a click of button and also next we discussed about how we can pass a parameter when you call a function and next we discussed about on change uh, event and then we 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 saw how we can uh, create a text field when you enter something and how how that value can be set into a, a state then we can show that and show that in the ui that's all that's what we discussed in this it tutorial so I want to keep it simple. I'll, I'll come up with next set of tutorials um, as a uh, the other uh, events. Okay, I'll, I'll set up another tutorial for that. So let's keep it simple in the first tutorial. Um, I hope uh, you learned uh, something from this tutorial. And then if you do, uh, just please uh, like, share, and then subscribe this video. And do put a comment. And uh, please... Um, Subscribe to my channel so that you will get all my videos as notifications. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.